Hey, Jack, congratulations on getting the deal done. Thank you. Just walk us through the last 24, 48 hours. So we were led to believe that this wasn't an easy decision for you and lots of moving parts, obviously, in this COVID world we're in. So uh, maybe you can just tell us ultimately uh, how you arrived at this being the right decision for you right now. Yeah, I think a um, little bit over a week ago, maybe, that uh, the CBA was signed off on and um, they kind of let us know that there was an opportunity here, pretty short window. Um, but that's kind of when I started talks with my, uh, my family advisor uh, and obviously my parents and um, my coaches at Harvard. And uh, we kind of, we've, we've been in conversation with obviously the, uh, the Canucks for, for the past month or so, just with all this kind of craziness going on. And, um, but yeah, it kind of it came, came pretty quick and, um, but it was an exciting kind of 72 hours. I'm just wondering, I mean, Harvard opportunities don't come to all of us. Certainly, I can speak from experience on that. Um, what kind of promises have you made yourself and your parents, perhaps, on you know, finishing your degree at some point, even though you're starting out here on this hockey career? Yeah, I think that was something that was pretty big uh, when I, when I kind of made the decision to, to turn pro. My, the pretty serious discussion with my parents about the investment that they've kind of already made in, in my education. And how important that is to, to me and, and them. So I definitely promised them that I'd eventually get that degree and um, something that I'm going to hold myself to. Congrats. Thanks. Next up, we have Brendan Batchelor. Congrats, Jack. Just your thoughts on some of the, the key factors that led you to make this decision where you're signing with the hockey club here today and, and talking to us now. What, what were some of the biggest – factors in, in making that decision and, and joining this organization? I'd say, uh, obviously, I was pretty confident in, uh, in my abilities here to try and make the jump now. And, um, but I think there are a lot of factors with kind of the uncertainties of school and um, that going online and kind of the uncertainty of whether college hockey is going to happen here. Um, those definitely played key roles. And then, obviously, I think my, my relationship with the organization and um, – especially guys like Chris Higgins and Ryan Johnson that have kind of been along the ride with me um, in pretty, uh, pretty consistent dialogue here in the last uh, two to three years, they were, they were pretty big in, in the decision. And then, um, yeah, obviously at the end of the day, it was me and my family kind of sat down and felt that um, it was the right time. How about uh, looking at the way the, the defense is constructed right now and thinking about the fact that there could be opportunity in the next few years here for you? Yeah, I think that that definitely played a role in it. Um, I'm excited for for the opportunity to try and go out and earn a roster spot and um, make the decision hard for them. But um, it's it's my dream. It's the best league in the world, so I'm I'm excited for for this journey. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Great. Next up, Ian McIntyre from Sportsnet. Hi, Jack. Uh, congratulations as well. Uh, there's not many uh, players your age and in your position who would have an opportunity if they were willing to wait another year to, to basically call their shot on where they start their pro career. How tempting was that for you to uh, be able to do that? I know family is very important to you. Was it, uh, was it a strong consideration? I, I think it was definitely kind of in the talks, but um, I'm really excited with the decision that I made. and um, Can't wait to kind of start on this get to work here um, very soon. And, uh, I think just the, the comfortability factor and the loyalty thing was a big piece for me. Um, this organization has been great to me, everyone in it, uh, whether it was the two development camps or just kind of, like I said, with um, RJ and Chris being able to kind of develop me, with, whether it was video or just a, a quick text here to see what how I was doing was a pretty good relationship and something that I, I'm excited to see kind of grow from here. Uh, I don't think you've ever been too far from home. Will it be tough to – to leave, uh, whether it's for the NHL or the HL, we don't know what's happening there, but will it be hard to leave home? I mean, yes and no. I think uh, it's it's going to be tough to leave. You know, it's just your family. It's um, they're, they're definitely very close to me, and I've got a great relationship with, with everyone in my family. But, I mean, it's the NHL, and it's it's my dream. It's something that I've wanted to chase for a while now, so I'm, I'm really excited about the opportunity. And what was your brother's reaction? It was funny. He uh, I, he might not even know that it, that it actually happened. He just he's kind of just 
going about his days here. Days kind of string together for him right now with, with no school, but uh, it's uh, he's definitely excited. I think he'll, he'll start to kind of grasp it more once I actually head out and um, get this thing going. Thank you very much. Great. Next up is Patrick Johnson. Hey, Jack, congratulations. Um, just on that note, in terms of where you might go, obviously so much uncertainty, you know, what's your sort of thinking in the moment? Are you hoping to get to Vancouver? I know you'll have, probably have to quarantine if you come here. Yeah, um, we've been in talks. I think there's a possibility of me actually flying out tomorrow morning, but um, just to get there. But I, I know I've, I've got a quarantine once I get there. But uh, there's, I think there's talks with the NHL right now where the guys, um, especially Black Aces, can kind of stick around in uh, Vancouver while – uh, the team heads off to Edmonton, and um, once those kind of get signed off on, I think I've I've got the green light to head out and start training, skating, and um, kind of get into it a little bit. You are in that weird world you noted that, you know, we don't know where we're going to be, and as you said, you might come here and be by yourself. Are you nervous at all about the fact that you might have to spend two weeks basically on your own? No. Um kind of used to that lifestyle right now, or at least I was, especially when quarantine started, obviously I had my family, but um, yeah, I know I'm, I'm kind of used to that lifestyle right now. And i um, just excited to get out there and start training, skating and uh, start putting the work in. You've been around, you know, hockey people a long time, you know, is, is there anything that you're, you know, excited about or nervous about in terms of transitioning into the professional game? I guess. I, I mean, it's less nervousness and more excitement. Um, I mean, I, I, I've said it before. It's just you, you work towards every day trying to get to that next level, and um, it's finally here, and uh, there's there's no level above this one. So um, I'm really excited to kind of get things going, but no, less, less nervousness and more just um, ready to get things going. And just the last one, it, 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 have you had any thoughts about where, you know, there's so many variables. Have you thought if, if Europe were an option, if that were something that you were presented with, is that something you'd be willing to do? Yeah, we, uh, it was definitely in the talks, but, um, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's in the future. That's kind of take, trying to take it one step at a time here and, um, maybe get out to Vancouver here in the next week or so and try and get to work. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of try and get better and try and develop here and, um, just be ready for when that opportunity comes. Thanks, Jack. Congratulations. Thank you. Next up, we have Jay Janauer from Global BC. Jack, uh, congratulations, uh, congratulations like everybody else. Um, I'm just wondering, from your perspective, the, the two evaluation camps that you were out here, how much did those mean to you for your development? How much did it build your confidence? And how much did it show to you that, you know what, maybe you were just a few steps away from, from eventually becoming part of this team? Because I remember standing there with uh, Ryan and, and Travis and, and commenting that you look like you are, you know, you're close to, to being an NHL player or you have the potential. What do those two camps mean? Oh, they're huge. I, uh, I loved coming out here and you're, you're an NHL player for a week and it's, uh, it's exciting. Um, try and be a sponge for, for a week and take in everything that you can and kind of experience that lifestyle a little bit. But I think it's huge just kind of, putting everything into perspective and realizing how close you actually are. And, but uh, they, they were awesome. I, I loved my experience out there. How much have you grown as a hockey player, Jack? And, and, and where have you gotten better? Do you think that you, know, you might be able to step in the lineup sooner than later? I think, uh, I mean, it's, I've constantly trying to work on my 200-foot game. I, I'd say I'm more of an offensive defenseman, but um, a lot of work with my coaches at Harvard and um, – whether that's video or on ice, they, they've been great to me in terms of trying to develop me from that standpoint. And obviously, you know, I think decision making's um, a pretty key part in that and knowing when to go and when to kind of pull the reins in a little bit. So I think those are things that I've been developing the past two years to try and make that, uh, that transition as seamless as possible. Congratulations. And you're coming to a province that has pretty low COVID rates too, Jack. All the best. Love it. Okay. Next up is Carol Schramm. Uh, hi, Jack. Congratulations on the uh, contract. Um, I wanted to ask you about your time with Adam Fox at Harvard in, the, uh, in your freshman year. When you saw the success that he had with the Rangers this season, did that put a little extra spring in your step and motivate you to, to believe that, that that path was, could be a reality for you as well? Definitely. 
um Foxy was great to me you know coming in as a freshman he's uh he's uh, the the player that he is is what everyone sees but he's a, he's an he's a, he's a great guy and um something that I realized pretty quickly uh him and him and Johnny Marino making that that jump was very cool for me to see and just you know being teammates with them a year or two before uh def- definitely gave me the confidence to try and uh know that I could do that myself and um yeah I'm excited to get things going Excellent. And as I was perusing social media last night, I noticed uh, congratulations coming your way from both uh, Thatcher Demko and uh, Canucks prospect Aiden McDonough. Can you tell us a little bit about what your relationships are with with those two players? Yep. Um, Thatcher is actually a really good friend, family friend. Um, my mom and his mom and my aunt were, were pretty tight. Um, and then we kind of just connected once he ended up coming to BC. Um, and have been buddies ever since. Uh, and then Aiden, I actually started playing hockey with ever since, honestly, ever since I really started playing competitive hockey. Um, me and him have been best buddies for who knows how long now, but uh, we played all the way up together until we ended up going off to um, college. Uh, l- the last year, I think was my senior year of high school that we played together. But um, yeah, we've just kind of developed a relationship ever since we started playing hockey. Excellent. Uh, Looking forward to seeing you out here in Vancouver soon. Perfect. Okay, and we are going to wrap it up with um, one final question from Thomas Strantz. Aiden, are you, oh, sorry, Aiden. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me, Jack. Uh, Also, I guess I have to say congratulations. Um, Can you walk us through just what the last week has been like for you, especially as things sort of began to move with, Harvard sort of making the decision that they did and the MOU sort of spelling out this week window and your ability to uh, burn that first year of your entry level contract. Um, and especially sort of leading up to yesterday when things got done, can you just walk us through the process your family went through? Yeah, I think uh, the second that uh, CBA got signed off on, we, we were in talks with the Canucks immediately. Um, they were really good about, communicating and I think uh, me and my family advisor and my uh, my family were kind of consistent in terms of our communication and we went um, back and forth all the way leading up to when I signed yesterday and uh, but yeah they were great um, it was a it was a cool experience and one that I a little hectic but I'm starting to soak in a little bit. Vic can I go one more? Yeah go ahead. Thank you um, with regards to making just a massive life decision like this to turn pro and leave school and to do that with everything that's going on in the world. um, How much did that complicate things from your perspective? Um, Yeah, I think it was, it's definitely an interesting time and something that we've obviously never seen before. Um, I'd say it definitely complicated things. Um, You know, I, my, my dream was to win a national championship at Harvard and, um, with the uncertainty of college hockey and uh, everything that's kind of going on right now, we, my family sat down and kind of went through all the uh, different scenarios and um, I'm really excited for, for my future here and um, can't wait to kind of get things going here in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for your time, man. Congratulations. Thank you.